Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, green shaded uh, square uh, A, B, C, D and this uh, smaller square uh, E, F, G, C put together as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, this uh, diagonal uh, F, C is uh, 6 units whereas uh, this uh, segment uh, B, F is uh, five units and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, square a b c d please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step just bear in mind that both of uh, these uh, boxes uh, are uh, our uh, squares so that means uh, all of uh, these uh, side lengths uh, of this uh, green square are going to be same and likewise uh, the side lengths of this uh, smaller square are going to be same as well if i label uh, this side length uh, as uh, lowercase a then this side length is going to be lowercase a lowercase a and lowercase a across the board and now since we are dealing with this square so this angle has got to be our 45 degree angle however this angle we are not sure so therefore we are not sure whether this whole angle is a 90 degree angle it is not so therefore this is not our right triangle so therefore we conclude that we cannot uh, apply the Pythagorean theorem uh, on this uh, triangle and now bear in mind that this uh, angle is our 90 degree angle since we are dealing with this uh, square and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, CEF and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square in our case our hypotenuse is uh, 6 whereas our two other legs are uh, a and uh, a as well let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula so we got uh, a square plus uh, a square as well is going to be equal to 6 square let's simplify that is going to give us uh, 2 times uh, a square equal to 36 and now I'm going to divide both sides by 2 to isolate a square so therefore a square value turns out to be 18 and now we are going to undo this square by taking a square root on this side and square root on this side as well so therefore our lowercase a value turns out to be 3 times uh, square root of 2 units so therefore uh, our this uh, side uh, lowercase a turns out to be 3 times uh, square root of uh, 2 and likewise uh, this uh, whole side uh, ce turns out to be 3 times uh, square root of 2 units as well and now we are going to focus on this other right triangle uh, BEF and bear in mind that this angle is a uh, 90 degree angle uh, as well and I'm going to label uh, this segment uh, BE as uh, X and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle as well and here's our Pythagorean theorem uh, as well and our Pythagorean theorem is a square plus b square equal to c square in our case our hypotenuse is 5 whereas our two other legs are x and 3 times square root of 2 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula so we got x square plus 3 times square root of 2 whole square is going to be equal to 5 square let's simplify we got uh, x square plus uh, 18 is going to be equal to 25 and now i'm going to move this uh, 18 uh, on the other side or simply x square is going to be equal to 7 
and now I'm going to undo this uh, square by taking square root uh, on both sides so therefore we conclude uh, that our uh, x value is going to be positive uh, square root of uh, 7 so thus we conclude that this uh, whole uh, x value turns out to be square root of uh, 7 so therefore our uh, this uh, BE segment length uh, turns out to be square root of 7 and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, whole uh, side uh, BC is the side length of this uh, green uh, square and furthermore let's make an observation we can see that this whole uh, BC length is going to be equal to BE segment uh, plus uh, the segment uh, EC here we can see this is our BE segment which is square root of 7 and this other uh, EC segment is uh, 3 times uh, square root of 2 so therefore our uh, BC length is going to be equal to square root of uh, 7 plus uh, 3 times uh, square root of 2 and now let's focus once again on this uh, green shaded uh, square I'm going to label uh, this side length uh, lowercase b this is the uh, lowercase b lowercase b and lowercase b across the board then our uh, this uh, bc length uh, could be written as uh, lowercase b length uh, is going to be equal to square root of 7 plus uh, 3 times uh, square root of 2 so the side length of this uh, green shaded square uh, is going to be square root of 7 plus 3 times square root of 2 and if here is our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded square and now let's recall the area of a square formula area is always equal to s square where s represents the side length of the square and here in our case the side length of this uh, green shaded square is square root of 7 plus 3 times square root of 2 so therefore uh, this green shaded square area is going to be simply square root of 7 plus uh, 3 times uh, square root of 2 whole square and now let's recall this famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as uh, a square plus b square uh, plus 2 times ab and we are going to apply this identity on the right hand side so therefore uh, the right hand side is going to become uh, 7 plus 18 plus 6 times square root of 14 and if we combine the like terms that is going to give us 25 plus 6 times square root of 14 square units so thus the area of this uh, green shaded square turns out to be 25 plus 6 times square root of 14 square units and that is going to be approximately equal to 47.45 square units as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye